Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrelis here, and Thomas is going to show us a pretty awesome strategy today. And when I'm talking a pretty awesome strategy, it looks like Driftblim's going to be doing his thing. However, I'm I'm really curious on how this one's going to look because sometimes the best strategy is using a strategy that no one really thinks of. That the mainstream way isn't to go. To go isn't the way to go. So, looks like instead of using Super Tanky Driftblim to be a Super Tanky Tank, he has Weakness Policy Driftblim with Shadow Ball, and we know, all know that Driftblim can be a pretty fast Pokemon with that Unburden and with just its natural base speed, so he's able to out, actually outspeed Blaziken after one speed boost. Go for the KO. I don't think the opponent was expecting that. And now, after that, I believe all of Driftblim's setup is necessary. That Thunderbolt just KO'd, and yeah, this is uh, Sweeper Drif Driftblim. I, I don't think many people have seen that before. I certainly haven't seen that before, and that's great because in Thomas's message, he ex he expressed, you know, he loves Driftblim too. He really enjoys the Pokemon, much as I do. Remember, it's one of my top ten favorite Pokemon. And in the end, he made it work for him the way he needed it to work, which is freaking great. So, I'm also going to do another video, since he sent me two, instead of just making one short one. Let's do a mini Driftblim montage for this fan Friday. And we're back! So, Thomas is here, let's get into the battle. I want to know what else Driftblim is capable of. Here we go. So, challenge issued. Driftblim, I'm excited to see what he does. And... It's against Mega Manetric. Now, that... Or she. Actually, that's a girl balloon. So, we have uh, Mega Manetric. That's a new strong Pokemon a lot of people have been using. Uh, has great coverage of fly, Flamethrower. Has the Intimidate. Has a lot that just makes it pretty strong. Ooh. Ooh. That's amazing. That is awesome. So, Indoor on Driftblim allows you to accomplish two things. It allows your weakness policy to, to get going, and then it also lets your unburden proc. Which means now you're going to be fast, and now you're going to be hitting hard. In one turn, because of using Endure, you're now getting that double... You're getting double speed and double special attack. So Shadow Ball is strong enough to go and finish off Manetric. That's kind of crazy. And I did watch this battle before, and it's kind of unfortunate... The opponent here goes and uses extreme speed. I guess they expected to get outsped and really didn't have and really didn't think that they would survive. So they kind of threw the drift blim right here like they expected, you know. Oh well. And that so, you know, misplay on the opponent doesn't really make or break anything cuz uh drift blim had gone down after using shadow ball say to flamethrower or something. Zoom roll, that's an easy cleanup. And here, it's actually the same thing. You know, the opponent expected to get destroyed, actually didn't, and ended up trying to, you know, go for some other kind of idea. Now, we, it does help us just kind of see how fast and strong this Drift Bloom is, because opponent's been try Just like with the Mega Blaziken, one speed boost wasn't enough, and it ended up paying... costing him dearly. So, um... That was pretty awesome. Driftblim was able to solo Mega Manetric, do a ton of damage to Arcanine, and then the opponent just went on tilt and it was bad from there, but I wouldn't take it, hold anything from the strategy for it. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this first Fan Friday, Driftblim being used how I've never seen Driftblim be used. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day.